Hey everyone, it's Jeremy the Cameraman. You probably used to see in the back of my head on a lot of the videos that we put together. Uh, I just wanted to do this intro and kind of explain the video footage that you're going to see here shortly. We've had some bad uh, weather the last week and a half and uh, haven't had a chance to get out and fly. I pulled this uh, video from my archives and just kind of wanted to explain it. This is uh, footage from my first flight with Henry. It was a gift from my wife and I had never flown in a gyroplane before. When I put this uh, footage together and put it on my own YouTube channel, it got a lot of views really quick. So I uh, approached Henry and uh, kind of showed him what was going on and he was really interested. He just didn't have the time to put a channel together for himself. So he gave me access to the school and all the gyroplanes and uh, we started making videos. I really appreciate it if you guys did subscribe if you already haven't. It really helps us out and um, lets us know that you really like what you see. If you could also uh, comment down below and tell us what, what you like and what you don't like and it'll help us make videos for the future. So for now I'd like to present my first video that I ever put together for gyroplanes and uh, I hope you enjoy. There we go. And I ask you, are you good to go? I'm good to go. All right, let me give him a call. Encino Tower, Gyro 232, Papa Golf, holding short 26 right, left downwind departure to Lake Matthews. Gyro 232, Papa Golf, Encino Tower, cross runway 26 right of Papa. Cross 26 right of Papa to Papa Golf. So he is sending us to the other runway. Wow. Okay, onto the runway we go. So the tower guys here know about my deal about uh, we get on the runway to spin up our rotor takes an extra 20 seconds or so. So the first thing we do is remember we have that thing on that brake mode. So I'm going to go on and go to flight mode. Okay. Now I do keep my hand on this thing because the stick will move around real freely. So okay. And then uh, I'm going to increase the throttle up to about 2,000 RPM. With my thumb, I'm going to push down on the pre-rote button. It's that one right there. Okay. It grabs the blade and we'll start spinning it around. RPM drop? Uh, the one to the right, yeah, RPM drop, but the rotor speed though to the right of that, that's the magic one. Okay. Wind 1905. So the takeoff is in four stages, and the stick will come back towards your lap, just so you know. Inbound for you. So the first thing I do is I take my thumb off that button. So now it's free spinning, bring the stick back, release the brakes, and then we start rolling. So I've tilted the blade all the way back now. Okay. It's like you can't take your hands off a, a helicopter one, can you? Right. <laughs> and now wind's blowing through it, our rotor speed's increasing. At about 300 RPM, the nose lifts off the ground. Remember what? I told you, just like that. Yeah. And I'm gonna add a little more power. And okay. when this thing is ready, oh. it'll just lift off the ground. In three miles, 4,600 descending for Ontario. It goes like that. 760. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, are you ready to go up? Yeah. Let's go up. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're climbing 1,500 feet a minute. Wow. Where's your vertical airspeed? It's this little skinny purple line right oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. That was a shot. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this engine's a pretty pretty good size engine on this guy. Yeah. So what, what are we looking at here with the red? Oh, the oil pressure. Yeah, here's our oil pressure here. It's good. Okay. We have a loose connection on our ground on okay. that. That's okay. why, so don't, yeah, sorry about that. Don't pay attention no, to that. that's all right. Thing. I just I see red lights. It's like, ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if this one comes on, then we'll be more concerned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be your your aircraft. <laughs> my aircraft. We're gonna be setting it down somewhere. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull the power back just a okay. little bit. And gaining that altitude right after the takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's better than a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it feels so much more stable than flying in a fixed that, wing. That's what I think. And again, we can take the doors off. There's only two quick pins that pop the doors off. Flat yeah. out the doors is pretty fun too. All right, so the uh, the push to talk is the trigger button here on the front. For I'll the let you go ahead and hold on to the stick there if you want. And I'll let you do a little bit of flying. We're gonna head that away. Kind of get a feel for this thing. Do a little video, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. See our speed is picking up, so pull the stick back just okay. a smidge there. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Where do we want to keep the speed at? I don't know, 60, 70, 80 is fine, whatever. I know, it's cool. These are in knots, so you have to add 10% per mile, so that's 77 miles an hour, 88, and okay. all that. 
Uh, we're going to continue climbing up a little bit, just going to go up to 2,000 feet. So to climb, yeah. again, you think it's stick back, that actually slows us down. Yeah. It's add just a smidge of power. Okay. Our best climbing speed is around 60. Okay. So keep it around. Yeah. Okay, so I was explaining about uh, stuff this thing will do. So if I pull the power back a little bit, obviously the first thing is if we lose power totally, we're already in auto-rotation, <laughs> so yeah. nothing really happens, yeah. you know. <laughs> so you can see our airspeed drops down, but we don't really go anywhere. The other thing is uh, we can't officially hover like a helicopter, yeah. but I can do a pretty good impersonation. If you look to the side, we can kind of stop in midair. Wow. And then uh, this is something that a helicopter won't do, uh, is do a sharp turn oh, like this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 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 no, nothing, nothing to it. Oh my <laughs> and we lost no altitude on that either. Okay. <laughs> wow, I've seen that on video. <laughs> it's different when it's when it's actually oh, happening. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the fact that we everything can go wrong, we could lose the engine and all this stuff, and we would pedal down and we could land in an area the size of a tennis court. Oh yeah, we got I, we yeah, got a million, like, million, fields. million. Yeah. Things. We yeah. land zero to five feet. We land like a helicopter. So yeah, uh, that's why I really like about these things. Oh you yeah. Know, they, I, so for gyro gyroplanes, what is your standard altitude that you fly AGL? Uh, you know, you have to be um, over condensed uh, population. You have to be a thousand feet above the ground. Over non-congested uh, area, it's kind of up to you. Uh, you can be at as long as you can safely make a landing. That's the minimum altitude, and we can land anywhere around here. Um, yeah, so that, that's basically the rules. A general one is 500 feet is pretty pretty reasonable. Yeah, know? yeah, for sure. I just, I knew the helicopters, we always were 500 EGL. Yeah. Because he's like, in case of an engine fire, yeah. I got to get to the ground fast. Sure, so. sure. But again, unlike your buddy, he has to get an auto rotation, and we don't. Yeah. We just like would fly down to the ground. You know? Yeah. So the only trick about flying low is you got to pick your speed up just a little bit, just so you have that energy to be able to get out of situations if you need to. Yep. Like these little vents work, huh? They don't work unless that's for the heater, actually. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna do a little turn, so you know. Wow. <laughs> wow, the water is really low. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I think you say it's really blue. No, it's really low. <laughs> All right, got some trees coming. Probably don't want to hit those, I guess. Oh my God! This is awesome. Seven seven two Romeo Delta over the Corona Foothill, 2,500, heading back to Corona Las Vegas. I had no idea this water, this waterway oh, was. Up. It just comes up out of the ground over there too, somewhere. Really? All right, again, uh, we can turn pretty sharp. I'm gonna give us a sharp turn to the left. We're just gonna pull the power off a little bit. We can't stall because it doesn't. We can't do that. So I'm just gonna spin us around here. Oh, this is so awesome! <laughs> oh, that's great! Wow! <laughs> oh, that's so much fun! Wow! Yeah, I like I like you flying. It's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just to check it out. I'm trying, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to concentrate. I keep it in trim. <laughs> <laughs> nah. It's like something just. I'm like watching my airspeed, keep it in trim. I'm just like, oh man, I don't even get to. Oh, this is so much fun. This is the Star Wars trench run right here. Oh, I know. Right? <laughs> We're gonna make a left turn. You see, don't. Okay. <laughs> oh man. It's like a fighter jet off. <laughs> Not that I've ever been in one, but. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Yeah, those uh, rudder turns are awesome. Yeah, yeah, they just, uh, this thing can just spin around. Another good thing about these on takeoff, too, it's the same thing, like I'm sure you've heard of the airplane, the impossible turn, when they try to turn back to the runway when they lose an engine. Yeah. But um, this can do the impossible turn. So if we're at the end of the runway at 100 to 150 feet and we lose the engine, I can spin it around and come back in and land back on the runway. Whereas an airplane will lose altitude so much that they'll usually crash. Wow, that's awesome. Still there. Traffic jump number three. Yeah, it is a bird, okay. Over the northeast side of the lake. 
descending from 4,000 down to 3,000, then headed back to Riverside. Final call, Matthews. But that's why I love these things. Again, you oh. lose your engine right now, no big deal. We'd pick a spot on the ground, we'd come down, we'd pull the stick back like this, and we'd just stop our oh motion. Oh my God. And, and, and we just, just sat on the ground, you know. Over the good square, head. Well, you know all the stuff on the helicopter, so the, the deal with that, the thing that I worry most about in these things is flying low is power lines, you know? Yeah. Because you just can't see those suckers, nah, you know? Nah, they're somewhere right there. Exactly. Like, the first time I came out here, I was all goofing around this area. I was trying to go fly down this little valley kind of low, and then I said, oh, crap, there's a pole there and a pole over there, so you yeah. can't even hardly see those lines across uh -huh. there, though. So, yeah, they just teach you to really research an area before you start flying low. Because you just see that all of a sudden it'd be like, Bink, you know. Yeah, I think what what my what my same old, thing with a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. one yeah. thing my old instructor was like, you never go below the peaks of mountains and mountains in short little valleys like this. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. yeah. And then if you see a power line, you cross at the pole because that way you at least know how high it is. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, definitely. You're at the highest point. Right. Okay, if we were in a normal airplane, I'd say we're probably a little high for the runway, would yeah, you say? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely high. I'd say that, too. The the for us, is, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> the tower's probably like, he's a little high. Yeah, he knows what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So all I do is I just take the power off, pull back on the stick, and we just kind of stop right here. Three ones are above. <laughs> this is awesome. And we're going to do this whole landing with no power whatsoever. So, oh, wow. So we're coming down now. We're actually backing up a little bit. So I'm gonna put the nose down. Is that because of wind or is it? Yeah, the wind's pushing us backwards. And whenever we get uh, down to the area I wanna be at, you know, for the, for the landing, I'm just gonna see our airspeed's about 20 here. I'm just gonna put the nose down, which will pick our airspeed back up. Again, about <laughs> 60 is about good. I'm gonna do all this with no power. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> so when we get to the ground, I pull the stick back. We're just gonna oh. fly down there. And then when we wanna set the wheels on the ground, we just kinda so slowly put the wheels on the ground. <laughs> So oh it's God. it's a piece of cake. It really is, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Kilo Tower, Jalfinder Six, on my eyelid, two six right inside the Dewey.